What's up YouTube, Jeremy here and welcome back to some more Sky Factory. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. If you have, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And I'm wearing a white shirt today because my normal top is in the wash and it kind of sucks. So I don't, I don't, I don't like the white, I don't know. I don't know, I really don't. I'm very self-conscious when it comes to my looks. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be. I exercise all the time, but you know, I mean, you have to be consistent in a video. You, you have an image and I, I do like... But I've, I've got to record as well, so I've got to just got to bite my tongue and get on with it. But anyway, today, uh, I think we were last time working on the spawn. Yes, part spawner. So we're going to get the... Where's my wave thing? Where's my wave thing? Where is it? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Wait, it's in here. It's in. Yes! There it is. I didn't, I didn't get the power cable set up into there. I do apologize for that. But let's just get this, this done. Let's just grab some levels. I probably need about 10, I guess. I don't know, we'll try this handles here. But this is how you create awesome stuff. Okay, I need 16 for this. Derp. It's it's so useful having this. I just grab levels whenever I need it. So we go boom boom. And could I name the spawner? Would that make a difference? I guess not. There we go. We have a skeleton. So we're gonna hook this into this side here. So let's gonna turn this side. Off. I probably should get in there to put some light in there as well. Otherwise, it's going to be quite dangerous when I go in there. But then again, I'm pretty OP. I don't really have to worry about getting killed or anything. But it's going to make a little access point. And maybe put down some torches. Uh, please, nothing work. Please, everything off. Everything's off. Yeah. Go, go be careful. Go be careful. So we're going to put the spawner down in here somewhere. It needs to be three blocks high, so I should probably put it close to the ceiling. But first, I need to... Do I want power up through the bottom? I think it's easier to put power up through the bottom than through the top. I do have power cables there. I just need to jimmy it across, so to speak. But this will hopefully... What I'm basically working towards in this whole thing is because I've mentioned it so many times now and it's been getting on my nerves now automate with a code it's something I want to start doing and I know it's one of those longer harder achievements to get which means I probably want to take off the box again for like the third episode in a row but we are getting there Th things are happening things are happening um, do I have any more energy conduits yes okay okay we can, we can do this hopefully nothing will have spawned in there Nope. Good. So, first, where do I want to connect? That's oh, my power, isn't it? So, we just follow the roof all the way across. Ooh. I was thinking about having it hang down. But there's a pro I've, I've just realized I have a problem. The problem being, if I put the spawn down here, anything that spawns in this little spot here will get caught up by the thing and won't get pushed out. But I just had a thought. Oh, I just had a great thought. We, we can fix this. I can show you how to make vector plates then. Oh, I can't get out of there. Let me out of here. Because I think mobs can spawn on vector plates, and I think being a powered spawner, it won't really matter. So let's make some vector plates again. So let's do another uh, uh, 16 will do probably. I should be able to turn this on right now, actually. This is, this is going to be pretty dope. So if I, for instance, push you away from there. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh, oh. I gotta be careful going that way. No, what we'll do is we'll have it facing the other way. So it'll get pushed in a straight line out. And I should be able to just put the power spawn down. It should start working. Ah. Ah. God, scary, scary, scary. Let's pick that up. I just want to see if it spawns anything. Oh, it's going to spawn, it's going to spawn. Oh, so let's turn these guys on. I think... Oh, 
like, yes, it's working. And also, between episodes, I did, I did remember to do this. I realised with a skeleton skulls, they go in the recyclers. So I have put a blacklist here to sc stop the skulls getting here. And I've put it on this blacklist as well. So any skulls will just literally go all the way through to nowhere. Huh. Where are this? Oh, they'll be hovering in the box, won't they? Because they can't. They can't come out, can they? Okay, they're hovering in the vacuum chest. Okay, I need a chest down here. Stat. I didn't think that through, but that's quite good actually. They're, that means I can track the amount of um, things. Or even better, let's make an end chest. Where are we? I've got one. I've got one. What, what's my signal again? Uh, red dye. I've got red dye, I hope. So I put you down and I go boop, boop, boop. That should be connected. Yes, it is. Then I need an item filter. I have, I have a lot of these. You know what I'm like when I shift clicking when it comes to making loads of stuff. Always happen. Always been terrible at it. So I've got another, and I need a wither skeleton skull. I've got some in here. I've got not enough left. That's fine, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll quickly have to, this seems to be quite ninja, this. So I put you there. That's fine, fine. So if I put that there, whitelist, wither skulls only, and, oh, wait, wait, wait. Insert with the skulls only. Boom. Yes, there we go. Whoa. That is OP. All I need to do now is shove an octodick in it. Just to speed it all up. So we'll do that quickly. Where are we? I have crap tons of them from, again, from my awesome looting. Right, so I need to remember to turn these off before I get absolutely destroyed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Nope, nope. Just turn this on quickly. You can die. And I just wanna pick you in quickly. And then I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Let me out, let me out, let me out! Let me out! No! Jesus Christ! Uh, where's the blocks? Where's the blocks? I need to win the blocks. In fact, I want these guys getting destroyed. I just want to close up the hole. I, I don't think I'll have any bearings or anything else, but it'll just help any other mobs spawning in there. Um, okay. I think it's these. If it's not, it's what can be used. And then we go boom, boom. Let's switch these on. I, I love this dark clay glass. It just lets me look inside and I can see, and everything's. Just look at that! That's so OP! What the fuck? Holy shit! Holy shit! This is so much shit! Just look at the ball go! Whoa! I love this already. How many how many skulls have we got so far? Considering this is only going like a few minutes. We had 11 to start with, didn't we? 83, holy shit. That is amazeballs. And that's just gonna keep going and going and going. I love that. I really love that. Just, just lack it a go. And that's gonna give me an infinite amount of XP. Jesus. I love this now. And I'm probably going to get a load of loot bags from that as well. Um, I don't know whether they actually, the spawns, mobs, drop loot bags. If they do, great. If they don't, then I will get plenty of these coming through from the coal. Yeah, can you see the coal coming into this now? That will give me a lot. That's just constant coal coming in. Holy crap. This is about to get supercharged. That is amazeballs. Right, so that's the first challenge we've done for today. I guess we could start working on the blaze spawner. I want to do it a bit 
different so we can see the whole thing because I think a blaze spawner is absolutely bay. So I did did I leave it over here my fuse glass? Did I yes I did that clear glass. I need to turn this dark. So this isn't Oh this blocks light. Okay, I wanna paint it grey though. I do have green not green, grey. Grey walls. So if I go like that and then like yes. Just, I, I like this texture, so we're going to build the whole thing see-through so you can actually see the whole lot. This is going to look absolutely amazing when it's done. And where's my builder's wand? Uh, I'll be the pit of death. And um, I'm try trying to think of the best way to do this. A lot of people, when it comes to these blaze forms, what they use is they use a vector maps, the mats. And that might not be a bad idea. Because at the bottom I'll have the grinders. In fact, I might as well put the grind, the mob mashes in right now. And then I can roughly work things out from there. Mob masher booms and one, two, three. Them and it's a run sword. I hate it when it takes the wrong one, and I've got loads of swords. Mash it, boom, boom. Come on, what am I missing gear? Oh, it's always something. It's always something I need. There we go, boom, boom. Like a stack. Gears done, boom, and then. Boom. So what I, I want to be able to see everything happening there. So what I'll have is I'll put all these down here. I need to put some redstone on the other side, but that's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll have some vector mats. Where did I put them all to? I need. I really do need like a wireless terminal. I got this will push anything that drops down into the grinders so go boom 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 yes i will get injured because i am an item i don't want anything spawning there while i'm making something let's just get some torches quickly yeah. also if you haven't noticed in my inventory i've got a thing called a baconator cookinator this is just keeping me fully filled with food because i don't like eating all the time it's kind of frustrating i'm lazy there's a way to automate something. I will automate it. Alright, and I put all my bloody glass away. Just grab the glass quickly. Oh. In fact, sod it. I'm going to make it out of... What we'll do is out of the darker glass on the bottom. And then we'll make the upper levels out of... The the better glass, if that makes any sense. Because this doesn't need to be a big, it doesn't need to be the seven by seven, isn't it? For um, them to spawn, oh, I'm gonna be one short, aren't I? Oh, yeah, it just looks out of place. No, 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 continuity. I, I need, I need, I need some gray ball, please. I think it has to look gravy. It's just like it's so out of place. Now it's it's sexy. So this is a one, two, five, six, seven. This is seven by seven. So if I go up around it, it should be good. Because what I will have, I'll have all the things in a column in the middle. We'll have some spawning platforms off it. And this should look good from the outside, actually. Being completely see-through. I just realised I didn't have nowhere near enough glass. Oh, the dark clay glass is so hard to make. It, well, it's not hard. I need a lot of ink, and I don't have ink for days. I've got 221. So probably give me another stack. Let's just try
this, this, this isn't the, the, the most glorious of things. So I've got some ink there because I was making some before. It requires four ink per glass, so this this is what annoys me. No, 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 no. That's the wrong recipe. Even though I can't put excess ink in there, I can put excess sand in there. Kind of buggy, I think. Right, well, let's go in. Let's just check how many wither skulls we've got. I want to see how many we get before the end of the episode. 313. Holy mother of God. My grind is OP. It is really OP. I'm going to need to do some research on the best way. I, I know there's multiple ways to do a mob grinder for a wither automated kind of thing. Uh, the way I do used to do it was with autonomous activators. I don't know if we've got autonomous activators here. I've got auto places. I, I guess I need. I guess that might be a change in the mod pack. I might need to look that up and figure out what's going on there. Might not have enough to actually make the whole thing. But we'll see how it goes. Oh. Right, you do, you do your bidding. You do your bidding. I'll use this. I'll see if there's any more glass in there. Oh. Even if we can make one platform, it'd be awesome. Oh. Oh, that's it. Just look from the outside. It looks so good from the outside, though, doesn't it? And then I'm down to six again. Oh, God. Well, I'll, I'll make one level, and then I'll do the other level off camera so you can actually see what I'm going to do. And then I'll put the spawners in the next episode. Let's make some vector points first. So I need another crap ton. In fact, I'm probably going to need a stack. It's shift click. We like shift click in here. So all I need to do is to make sure everything points in there. It's not fair. I can't, I can't place these down on glass. Damn it. Let's put my ring on. So I don't lose anything. At least we can keep the glass. Yay. Still kind of disappointing though. But that gives me another level. That does give me a level level, so we can maybe make this now. Let's get what material do I want to use? Hmm. I'm guessing I need to make no, I don't want anything that can burn. I use the chisel stone. I've got a crap ton of chisel stone. So if I go. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is looking promising. So if I go, point everything in there. So anything that spawns will get pushed into the pit of death. Same me using fans. I just like to use different ways to do things. If that makes sense. So point that way. That way. That way and then point that way. So everything, no matter where it lands, will get pushed. This item should flow. Yes. And I push into the grinder. And we'll have a void chest down there. And this should look glorious once I've got a set of them. Down the middle I will have maybe two or three levels yeah. for all the spawning and it should look glorious. So I'll have this set up for next episode. And that's pretty much it. I just want to do one last thing before we finish. I did promise you that I would figure out how to upgrade these tanks. Well, I did figure it out. Uh, it's quite... It's, it's not complicated, but it's kind of irritating. So you have to go through the tiers. So what you have, you have all these tank upgrades. You've got tier 1, you've got tier 2s, you've got tier... What is it, tier 3s? Tier 3s. 
you've got tier fours and you've got tier fives. So I made the tier five while I'm thinking, yeah, let's click on it and I can make it. And it says, no, you have to go for all tiers. So we'll quickly upgrade it to the top tier one because we can. Um, unfortunately, we have to look through this crafting recipe. This is a tier one. Cobblestone, there we go. So this gives me a tier two. So if I click on this, see, it's upgraded to a tier two. So go. So let's, let's do another tank upgrade. Let's go all the way. What? What's a tier three? Still tier two. Tier four, tier three. So we've got gold. So let's make a gold one. And then let's make a lapis one. We've got loads of lapis, haven't we? This is tier four. Yes. We should be able to just go upgrade it. So we go boom, boom, and then boom. And we've got a tier five tank which can hold 1024 buckets of whatever we want in there which is pretty good i just need to figure out what i want to use it for because it's pretty pretty it's a pretty good thing and you hold it so if i break it and drop it somewhere else it will hold whatever i put in there liquid wise so i don't know if it's worth hooking it up to the xp drain maybe i don't know but that's gonna be it for this episode so um yeah thank you very much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe got any questions leave them in the comments down below i'll have the wither farm not the wither farm the blaze farm done for next episode i will just might hold back on the blaze one as well might put them in just to test it uh and we'll see you next time toodles